Welcome to Real Talk live from the University of Salford's Media City UK campus, where we'll be taking a sip from the hot gossip of this week's entertainment news. Coming up, we'll be discussing the UK's reaction to Philip Schofield coming out, dress slips, and later asking the questions that need answers. But first, let's meet our panel. Hi, I'm Olivia from Salford. Hi, I'm Daniel from Northamptonshire. Hi, I'm Gemma from Surrey. And I'm Sophie from Cheshire. Now let's dive straight into the papers. It's time for Hot Pages. Today I looked at an article in Closer magazine on reality star Lauren Goodger battling trolls. The mag states that her friends have said trolls are ruining her self-esteem. The question I want to pose to the panel is do you think social media is doing enough at tackling trolls and what more can be done? What do you think guys? No. <laughs> no yeah, exactly. Social media is not doing enough at all. I think if anything, it's making the situation worse, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Worse. Yeah. Um, exactly. I've seen celebs now, if you go on celebs' Instagram pages, they often turn the comments off. Right. So yeah. nobody can even comment or they have filtered comments, so it's only like specific people that they know that mm -hmm. can comment on the photos because it's actually got that bad that they, yeah, they yeah, so they've removed them completely. Yeah, it's yeah. horrible. And if you report yeah. something on like Twitter or something, you get something back that, like 24 hours later, it's like, yeah, we decided not to delete that or decided not to remove them. And you're like, why? Who like, is judging this? Literally. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't break our guidelines. You're like, definitely does. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> you, you report a tweet and then it's like, oh, sorry, no, it's not offensive enough. It's like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, literally. I don't know, I just think it's so hard for them being in the public eye already, mm -hmm. having everyone scrutinise and every little thing about you, especially the way you look, is just something that mm -hmm. is really personal to everyone. And of course what, it is. Like, it's no one's judgment to say what's right and wrong. Yeah. And to be honest, it's always people, it'll always be one of those accounts where they've got, 10 followers, like yeah. following like Follow 150 people, yeah, and Called their profile Susan. picture is just a grey, like little blob, do you that's know what it. I mean? Yeah. And it's just that that's it's the people sad. that are. Yeah. Being have horrible. you guys ever said anything like, let your secrets out now? Have you ever yeah. said anything on social media that you think, oh God, I probably shouldn't have said that, that's quite offensive? Or never. No, I don't no, think not. I no. but I've had people say it about me before. Mm -hmm. like, have people, you? Yeah, like people comment horrible things. And how did things. that make you feel? Horrible. Yeah. It was like, it was years ago, but like mm. just. When, when people say personal things about yeah, the way you look, it. and it's like, why is it your place to yeah. decide what I should be looking like? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. like, um, I did um, a money blog for BBC, and they shared it onto their LinkedIn page, and I think there was like two positive comments out of like 100 comments about how I spend my it's money. Crazy. It's yeah. like, you see one week of my spending, and there was literally people going in about, because my nana paid for some lunch once, and they're like, you let your nana pay for lunch. It's like, you, you, <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you, you don't then. know. Like, you've seen one week of my spends, and, literally getting yeah. dragged through for it, yeah. yeah. I think that's the issue is like everyone thinks that they know you because of what they see on your social media. Yeah, like, of course. Obviously, like the way that I portray myself online is <laughs> much better than yeah. I yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My yeah. life is it's better, so I'm actually seeing my real life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. literally. So it's just and like, people yeah. still find, find things with that with oh, what, the honestly. perfect life that we display. Portray, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that they'll still find stuff wrong with it. Yeah, of course they will. But like, they'll find stuff that's actually a part of your life. Like they yeah. were, they'll never find stuff that's actually, that we're actually lying about. Yeah, Dan, yeah. what magazine did you look at? Me, you sure I that actually was? looked at the new magazine this week, um, specifically the long-awaited return of the Pussycat Dolls, but rumour has it that Nicole is upsetting some of her co-mates as they rehearse for their tour by acting like a diva. No <laughs> shock there. Do we think Nicole has gotten too big for her boots or does she have every right to flaunt centre stage, guys? If I was diva Nicole, mm. I would do a diva. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she has earned her diva shit, yeah. hasn't she? Like, oh, she's owned it. Yeah, she's definitely. she's worked to the top. As long as she's not being horrible to a co stars then. That's oh, it. I was going to say, there's ways going about being yeah. a diva. Like, we only you know, know so him. much again, yeah. but But I she sort of knew she was a diva. It. You see that on X Factor, you see that when she does loads of different things. And when she did her performance on X Factor, it was literally just her singing and the rest of the group were her back end singers. Yeah. yeah. Which is not how it used but to be. Is that but what management? Is that not is, might not just be her that might not be yeah. her. It, it might be. <laughs> we don't, we you don't, don't know. know. Yeah, you don't yeah, know. True, but but that doesn't help the situation. What do you think if, if um, she was like Beyonce, do you think it would be more accepting? It wouldn't be yeah. so much of a big thing like, yeah. God, she's a diva. Like that's just her persona maybe. Yeah. Mm. I think there's sort of like a so we're sort of like well, basically, divas used to be like, oh my god, like a diva, and now we're like, oh my god, divas. a diva. Like, yes. like, yeah, 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 and, that, and yeah. now we sort of embrace it. So, to what extent is she being a diva? Because I think the lines of what a diva is is 
so blurred as well now. Mm. Mm. Like, like, is she being a horrible diva or is she being a funky diva? We don't yeah. Know. And also, like, she's probably being encouraged <laughs> by her management to act in a certain way. Yeah. Like, they're, they're saying, like, everyone's going on nowadays about, like, how celebrities have to make their own brand. Her brand is being a diva. She's yeah. known on X Factor for causing a scene and other things If like you that. think about it, when, yeah. when the Spice Girls came back, it was a massive news and you heard about it every single day. They said they were coming back on X Factor ages ago. I have not heard anything since. So this no. is probably a stunt to try and get people well, to think... Well, that's it. Do you know the names dolls? of the pus Pussycat Dolls? Um, I know. Nicole, Nicole Jones. Jones. Yeah. And that's that, it. And that Ashley, Ashley Blonde. Ashley Blonde. Blonde. Ashley Blonde. Well, that's Ashley Roberts. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. say a lot about it, though. Any, like, they have kind of, of faded out, haven't they? Yeah. 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 So that's Definitely. probably why Nicole is still in the limelight. She and wants no to go publicity, diva because doesn't she? She's still yeah. in the public eye. Yeah. So I think it's probably a lie. A lie. Yeah. lie. Wrong. Incorrect. Right, Gemma, what have you been looking at? So I also looked at Closer magazine, but on an article about Gogglebox star Scarlett Moffat, in 2016 she dropped down from a size 18 to a size 8, but since things have changed and she admitted feeling at her happiest at a size 12. Now, similarly to Lauren, Scarlett has had a lot of trolling on her socials. Scarlett says there's more to life than the way you look. But what is our opinion on people taking such an interest in how celebrities and others look? Do we have a right to say anything? No, I don't no, no, I don't think we do. And there's so much pressure as it is anyway. And if somebody is losing weight, then so be it. Yeah. They're happy they're losing, losing weight, they're losing yeah. Weather, yeah. Brit, they don't yeah. need and Sally from down the road yeah. saying, oh God, you've <laughs> lost that drastically. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. We don't know if they've been going through mental health problems. And it is quite drastic to go from a size 18 to, you know, whatever. Um, but if she's doing it in a healthy way, mm. then I don't Nothing see... And she's in a very healthy weight now. I would say a size 12 is not unhealthy no. or whatsoever. It's a good size to be in. Yeah. She's probably yeah. getting rubbish for that just because she put on weight again. Like, yeah, yeah, people are like, you've lost the weight and then you've gained it. And yeah. it's just like, it's like you've that's not your time opinion. and all of that mm. rubbish. Yeah. I think the thing is as well, like, people always um, blame it and it'll be my mum's commenting like, my daughter has to watch you lose this weight and then regain it. That's like always a horrible comment. It's yeah. like, you're setting a bad example. No one's forcing you to do what you see online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not like th there's like hypodermic needle theory that like you, you can, everything that you consume, you believe and blah, blah, blah. People don't do that. It's like you, you process the information that you see online and it's about your opinion about how much you yeah. take on of it. And yeah. Well, there was a time when, um, I was a bit chubby, <laughs> and uh, I, lost, I lost quite a lot of weight. <laughs> I lost a weight, quite a lot of weight, and I had someone comment on me saying they preferred me with more meat on me. But and it was how like, did that make you yeah. feel? It's, it's a bit, you, you, you feel so good, you've lost this weight, yeah. you're finally in a position where you're like, I am it? happy completely in my body, mm. and then someone's like, oh, I preferred you when you had a bit yeah. more weight to you. It's like, I've not done that for you anyway, so exactly. that's fine. Yeah. I've yeah. not done that, but That's I did it. Yeah. 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 I've had quite a similar thing where, so I used to, I put on a little bit of weight at some point, not a lot, but just enough that it was visible. Mm. And I fluctuate quite a lot, so people are always telling me about my weight. And the, when I went to university, I lost about three stone within within really? the first wow. few months because wow. I put on so much weight, like being ill and stuff. So I just lost the weight that I you that I didn't, that mm. I didn't actually ha need to have. Mm. Um, and when I got back home, people were telling me they were like, "Are you okay? Are you ill? Like, do you need to speak to a doctor?" I was like. I am fine, I'm eating fine, mm. I've just lost the weight because I'm not ill anymore, like, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Like. I think there is such a negative stigma about losing weight and yeah. it's always, oh, you know, it's like mental health or something, but people just like to change their lives around, don't yeah. they, and feel better about themselves. Mm. And it's not exactly. all just for Instagram or whatever, no. it's, you know, your own Life's body image. Like, yeah. 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 What have you read, Olivia? Um, well, <laughs> in this week's Heat magazine, <laughs> I looked at Victoria Beckham's fears over her son Brooklyn becoming a reality star, as she doesn't want brand Beckham to be tarnished. She also worries that he could get caught in a sex scandal. Are we here for seeing Brooklyn's gracing our TV, mm. or are the Beckhams overrated and boring? I just think this is a load of rubbish. It's a hard one. <laughs> Personally, like, Brooklyn is the same age as me, 20, mm. and I think he's... Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Growing so up, my nan would be like, oh, "Sophie, you need to get in there." <laughs> so I'm like, "Nana, how? How is that going to happen?" Like, we'll find a way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you don't really hear much about them. No. No. I think what's happened much? is apparently there's been rumours that he wanted to go on Strictly Come Dancing. And Victoria Beckham's actually said, like, they don't want the family getting involved with stuff like that because, obviously, he has girls after him and everything. Oh. And all the, all the, the, the Strictly Come Dancing curse, he doesn't want the family to get caught in that. She basically thinks it's unprofessional for the brand, and he's he's a young he's lad. a young lad. He, like you're 20, you want to go out, you want to party, you want to 
do things with girls, <laughs> not boys. Um, and like, he just needs to live his life and not have his parents being like, you need to follow our life because we've that, been amazing, we've been that's successful. That's the thing, isn't yeah. it? I do feel sorry for him because he's almost trapped. Mm. Like, he's unfortunately just been born into that. If that yeah. was like one of our friends that parents were telling them what to do, we'd be like, oh, you're not listening to parents. Yeah. But because yeah. it's the Beckhams, it's like, you need to listen to yeah. them. Yeah. It's got that Where, brand is it, is it around it. it. Yeah. But literally, like, if Harry can walk away from the royal family, Brooklyn can walk away from the Beckhams. Yeah. Name Smith. <laughs> 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 Brooklyn Smith. Smith. <laughs> it works. It sounds great. Well, I love that. That's the most generic surname ever. Imagine. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, right. That's all for Hot Pages. Let's take a look at what's been trending this week on social media. Just before the weekend, Philip Schofield revealed his gay in an emotional post on Instagram. This was then followed by an interview with This Morning co-star Holly Willoughby. He admitted he knew he was gay when he got married in 1993. His wife Stephanie, of 27 years, says she will still support him. So guys, what are your thoughts on Schofield coming out gay? Well, <laughs> <laughs> where do we start? <laughs> good, no, good on him for coming out. Mm. Obviously, it's an amazing thing. It's very brave to do. But the fact that he knew he was gay in 1993 yeah. Yeah. and still got married, it's, <laughs> uh, it's a bit like, mm. it's on the wife side, I feel a bit yeah. sorry for her because yeah. that's, mm. that's a big chunk of her life when he knew he was gay all along. Yeah. Did she know? Yeah, That's the question. well he did admit to um, an interview with The Sun that he was quite naive to it all back then and he didn't know whether he was bi and he, he saw like a therapist because he was trying to get over his emotions and he thought he was just confused. So yeah. I actually kind of feel quite sorry for him that it's oh, yeah. taken him this long to kind of make it public. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, controversial though. I don't... I think the way <laughs> he came out was genius yeah. in the way that he released a statement <laughs> 10 minutes before he went live on TV. No news people could get anything out in that time mm -hmm. to do anything. But I also don't love the way he came out because he's made such a big deal out of being gay when the gay community is trying to make it like... A normal thing. Yeah, but you don't need to come out. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know if it's him that's tried to make it a big deal. I think it'll be a case of he's come out to like people and then this morning have been like, right, we are opening and that is going to yeah. be our headline. Yeah. And you're going to sit on the other side of the sofa and it's all going to be this dramatics because they want to make True. it something. And he's a big figure as well, isn't it? Yeah. So a lot of people have paid interest. You know, all the newspapers, mm -hmm. they've pounced on it. Because yeah. it, it does make, it's newsworthy. He's yeah. a national treasure at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he's it's not just another celebrity. Really. It is interesting though, like why there's alleged things of why he might have come out. Oh, go um, on, spill so, the beans. Spill the beans, I can't <laughs> on, on this morning, there is a showrunner called um, Matthew McGreevy. McGreevy, um, he is um, a showrunner, but Philip Schofield followed him on Twitter, I think it was, when he was just 15 years old. Right. Um, Philip has been known to have taken him out on day trips, hang, hanging out, chilling. Um, there's also a video on Facebook. Allegedly. Which, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Um, the, the following, though, is true. Like, that did happen. Yeah. Um, there was also a video on Facebook years back, but it's been brought back up because obviously it didn't mean anything back then, of some man who thinks he's funny um, going with, like, a confetti cannon to Philip Schofield when Philip Schofield was in a cafe. It was just Philip and Matthew sitting in that cafe. Um, so... Basically, Matthew has allegedly been fired from the show um, and he's, again, allegedly um, threatened to out Philip if he doesn't get back on the show. Right. But Philip's just outed himself, so good luck, mate. Yeah. <laughs> good luck getting your job back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah you just remember to yeah, believe stuff like that. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, social media went absolutely mad when Labour MP Tracy Brabin wore an off-the-shoulder dress in Parliament. Here is the dress on screen. Now, there were multiple offensive comments and people saying that Brabin shouldn't wear something so revealing in a place like the House of Parliament. Firstly, panel, do we think this dress was appropriate? Yes. 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 <laughs> 100%. Why? Because, oh, <laughs> it's a bit of shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who is sexualising a shoulder? Shoulder. Yeah, I know. Well, there's more. Yeah. There's more things going on in Parliament right now that should be stressed. Yeah. Oh, a woman, a yeah. woman, and her shoulder. Yeah. 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 And a lovely shoulder at that. Let's just say. <laughs> I think it's my. It's quite. It's seen as like quite sexy, isn't it? Why? 
But I don't know. I think I that's what, you know, mm. social <laughs> media is the shoulder. Can't put that away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think people just like to pull on things, like you said before. People like to comment on things, mm. even if it's got... I don't know, I think it's still professional. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely it's dress. Probably because it's not really been seen before mm. in Parliament, so it's seen as like, oh, God, you know, what that's a... Do? What do we do? Yeah, and people, I feel, on social media just like to moan about anything okay. and everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If it looks out of the norm, they're like, quick! You know, mm -hmm. type yeah, something. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. And I think as well, it wasn't even supposed to be that off the shoulder. She, she's got like a broken ankle. Yeah, she, she has, doesn't she? On the desk and oh, okay. It that fell down further. Yeah. So that was just like, I mean, you're just... now just picking on a woman that's crippled. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just be happy it didn't fall too far. Yeah, because yes. that would have been oh, yeah. that would have been this way. Maybe that would have been a bit <laughs> of a story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good. Well, she is now actually raising money for the dress on eBay by giving um, to the Girl Guiding um, the UK the charity. And on eBay, I've seen that it's already going for like seventeen thousand two hundred pounds with sixty-one bids, and it's still got three days left. You know, it's going to be weirdos buying that, though, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be me. The ones that like shoulders. <laughs> but it's not, definitely like it is. Such a good thing to do, like turning around that negative. She's had so many like yeah. shaming comments. Turning that around and being like, do you know what? I'm going to give all this money to. Yeah. Mm, Chance, to obviously, she didn't have to do much. She had to put it on eBay. Yeah. But like the thing is that people, yeah. like, she's she's raising awareness. She's had that she's, initiative to do. Well, that's yeah. it. She's almost turned a negative situation into, into a really positive. Yeah, yeah, which, definitely. You know, good on and her. And it kind of goes ha in the faces of anyone that said anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Love that. Oh, bless. Good MP. Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 my MP. <laughs> Moving on. So some really interesting uh, tweet that I saw last night with uh, people with syncytia. So this is a condition where <laughs> one sense is simultaneously perceived with another. So for, for example, people will see sounds or will taste words or feel a feel sensation um, on their skin when they can smell a scent. This new website looked at what colours people with since Honestly, girls. Sinus Fisher. Sinus Fisher. Sinus Fisher. Thank you, my darling. Sinus Fisher see with certain names. So here's mine. Oh. Okay, so when I, <laughs> I think, I, I was quite surprised really because they're mm. quite dark colours, and I wouldn't associate Sophie me as a bubbly person to look blue. Look <laughs> yeah. blue. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's. Do you know what it is? Maybe it's like it's just the name as opposed to like the personality. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. Sophie's a name, and maybe it's Sophie's a person. It's a good. It's a good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I saved it. I saved it. Like, saved it quick question. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's look at yours, Liz. What's it saying? Like, I'm not going to attempt to Oh, it's like the French flag. Oh! oh. Ale, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I just quite like that. It's got the little French flag at the back. Mix them up to make England. Because <laughs> you are And then black and white. You? Like me, black and white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dan, Strange. let's see what yours is. Mine's just very, like, these are the primary colours of light. Like, oh, which is so light. perfectly. Yeah, I'm light. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's interesting. It's not the colours that I like. Oh, we have got a bit of like blue and red in there. We like a bit of blue and red. And <laughs> by no means, Gemma. I mean, it's the primary colours, isn't it, really? Yeah. Plus a few. It's just a bit plus, simple. What, plus what? <laughs> like, <literally. laughs> I swear one of them is primary colour. Well, green, green, yeah, green, green is a there. secondary colour. It's a primary yeah, light colour. I don't know, it's just basic. It's just a bit me, yeah. really. So do they see them colours when they say the name? I don't get it. What, so so when they say they? Gemma and see them colours. And they, they like just flash. Flash. <laughs> Do they like just <laughs> green, yellow, blue, blue, red? Like. Imagine at traffic lights and then somebody says the name. They don't know when to go on. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Social media also went wild when people started to compare themselves in a visualization exercise. So when you visualize an apple in your head, which one with which one are you from a scale of one, which is seeing the whole apple in 3D, to five, not seeing anything at all. So what do you think? Close your eyes now. How <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can, I can yeah, see an apple, but I won't say it's 3D. I can see a fat, like, green apple. Can you? Like, shiny. So you'd say you're probably... A, probably, like, two. Two, because it's, it's not, not 3D. 3D. But I definitely see an apple. Mm -hmm. What about you, Dan? Just close your eyes. Close your yeah. eyes. <laughs> Tell me what you um, see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite interesting because I do see an apple, but I've got a really vivid imagination. And mm. whilst you're reading that, I can see an apple when, like, I can, can see things when I've got my eyes open. Oh so, wow! 
I mean, go, it's good that I can see with my eyes open. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got, I've got a vivid, about I've got a vivid <laughs> imagination, so like, I, can, I tend know? to imagine. I'm really bad at like daydreaming because I just imagine things all the time, like with my eyes open. But I yeah, I'm probably I, a worm. I can definitely see like a red apple, a very vivid red, uh, red apple, but it's definitely not in 3D. It's no. not. It's not fancy enough for that. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not our design. <laughs> it's a Tuesday. What, what it's really yeah, what do you say? <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, spoiler alert, close your ears if you did not watch Love Island last night. Naz and Eva and Rebecca and Jordan <laughs> left sunny South Africa. Do you think that they deserve to go? Yes. Naz, yeah? Y yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Why? Right, so Naz is just, uh, he was a bit of a snake, basically, <gasps> I think. Mm -hmm. So he started off really good, gave us this very good impression, you know, like, I am Dream lovely. He's the one that's been a dreamer <laughs> star, right? Oh, yeah, been yeah. yeah. a dreamer star. Nice. Like, he, he became, like, the girl's best friend, just will always lying on the daybed with them. And then Demi comes in, she's gorgeous, she's got, like, the bubbliest personality, lovely, and they get on really, really well. Then Naz goes to Casa Amor, <clears throat> and um, <laughs> comes back with snake Eva, who... I'm personally not a fan of, but mm. don't know the girl, so I can't say anything. Um, but yeah, no. Sassy! <laughs> I don't know, I just, I, I do not think that they deserve to be in anymore. Their time was up. So really? See yeah. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a shame that you came across all nice and just let us all go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I don't think, so I only watched, I won't lie to you guys, I only watched the first two episodes, yeah. and he was in the first two episodes. <laughs> and I did not like him back then. Oh, there was something about okay. him, and I was like, yeah. oh, you're, you're, you see people's true colours then? Yeah, my yeah. Right through more through than apples. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. What do yeah. the name Naz looks like? <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <find that out. laughs> right now, it's time for question time. <laughs> Has plastic. I was getting far too excited with my <laughs> questions then. <laughs> Has plastic surgery gone too far in this day and age? What yes. do you think? Yes. I feel like <laughs> everyone should do what makes them happy, of course. Yeah. And everyone that doesn't have plastic surgery then feels like they're not pretty enough anymore because they feel everyone's doing this for a reason because mm. obviously it looks, it's supposed to look pretty. So everyone that doesn't do it thinks, oh, well, I'm not pretty as them. Like, yeah. then you start mm. complaining yourselves. And I think it's got to that stage where we are growing up seeing so many people with plastic surgery. Some people not even being honest about it. Yeah. So you think they naturally like that? Mm -mm. Girl, no. they don't. Yeah. <laughs> and then it makes you feel bad for not naturally looking like that. The problem yeah. I have is that it's it's not reversible. Like, like we talked well, about losing and gaining weight earlier. Is yeah. it reversible now? Well, I read that Molly May, um, she had so much hate, obviously, coming out of Love Island last mm. year. She had her lips done bigger, but now she's having them dissolved. Yeah. Oh, which yeah. I that's, didn't realise you have them but dissolved. But a lot of plastic surgery isn't. Like, no. if you get, so, yeah. Like a nose job. Yeah, yeah like you get that's a nose. That's true. So, like, it's, it's so different from, like, yeah, make yourself look good, like, feel comfortable in your own body, but feel comfortable in your own body. Like, mm, once yeah. you, if you're putting a bit of plastic on, that bit ain't you. That's a bit of Barbie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's just one of those things that it's like, if you're wanting to do it and you're happy doing it, then go for it. Yeah. But like, we should be allowing people who want to do it, do it. Mm. And if it's like one of those things, it's like, you know your worth, you know that you're beautiful. If you like, do you know what I mean? And yeah, if, if you want to change something about you, then do it. If you don't, then don't. Yeah. Just don't let it affect you, basically. But people make it sound so easy, but it's actually so expensive, isn't it? So expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. The average, the average Sally won't be able to do it. Like, no. You know, no. <laughs> we like <laughs> Sally, don't we? We do that. Like. Like <laughs> I do promise we do like Sally. Sally. <laughs> <laughs> also, I've got another question. Is this generation too sensitive? This, this is so hit and miss with this one. Mm. I yeah. say half half. Yeah. Half, half, I feel yeah. like we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't I think care. We don't, don't care. Do. But do you know what I found really weird about a lot of the sensitivity? It's like if you see somebody that's like a gay comment's been made or, or like a comment that's racial, it's not the people that it's targeted to that mm. get offended, it's these people that are like, oh, I want to protect them and just start beef for no reason. Because mm. people have said so much stuff. Like somebody said to me before as a joke, like, um, like a, a bad word, but I don't know if I can say. Um, but, <laughs> and, I, and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's funny. And then somebody be like, that's that's sort of older, sort of older. I'm like, no, I'm fine with it. Like it's my battle. I'm like yeah. not yours. Like if you decide to fight your corner, corner like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, like an example, you know, that whole man-sized tissue thing last year. Yeah. Do you think people were being too sensitive to that? Like as an example. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Men are naturally bigger than yeah. women. That's a proven biological. F well, most of the time, you know. Yeah. No, it is. It is though. Genuinely, like <laughs> physically, they like they are bigger than women. 
So man size is going to be bigger than a regular size. Yeah, you know what I mean, just make tissues bigger, and then everyone. Cause everyone can be happy with big tissues. Everyone loves What's a big tissue. What's wrong with a big tissue? Nothing worse than having snot running down your hand because <laughs> your tissues too. There is small. nothing worse, especially with the corona going about. We don't want. <laughs> we, we don't want to well, get germs anywhere. Well, in the anywhere. wake of social media <laughs> apps and meme videos, Vine only lasting around three years. Do we think TikTok will eventually die? No, no, it can't. Uh, I think it will. Do you? But why? Why? Because, here's the thing. <laughs> um, I, I, even, I even think that things like YouTube and stuff <laughs> is going to die eventually. We're in a, in a sort of place now where this is all cool and it's fresh and it's amazing, but it's technology. And mm. technology changes so quick. When the TV mm. came out, people were like, oh my God, that's going to be around forever. And guess what? TV's dying. Mm. I know we're on TV <laughs> right now. Hi. TV's dying. Yeah, just like, like whole occupation. Yeah. But yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and, and, this is what I want to do. It will, it will eventually die. And also there's no... Um, way of making money from it so unless you do sponsorships the actual company does not allow people to make money people are going to get bored on the app there's going to be an app that does True. come out and whereas tiktok you could uh, not tiktok vine you could make money on you can't make money on this they're still trying to find a way of doing it mm. um but you've yeah at the moment you physically can't make money so people are going to get bored and people are going to stop using it and it's just gonna i really hope not have you, you're have you got you're yourselves? Being it. Have you been using it? Oh, oh yeah. Don't post, but I have well, loved a good scroll. Can you tell me what you told me before? Oh, yeah. where, where do you scroll? You tell us where you scroll. What do you where mean? do you scroll more yeah. on TikTok? <laughs> Come on. If you're on the loo, yeah. yes, and you're bored, <laughs> you can't, you know, people don't have books down the side of toilets <laughs> anymore, do they? No. It's just, it's, it's more noise as well. You end up getting like red rim on your bum because you've been sat there for so long. <laughs> Do you know oh my god. <laughs> Didn't know it was that kind of shit. Oh, and my final question for today. Can you date your friend's ex? No. 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 Absolutely not. No. That is why? a no Nothing go. Should be done with I mean, I'm not saying ex. why. Have you done it? Have you done it? She's like, well, actually, what friend? <laughs> Best no, none friend, of them. no, no, best friend, no. <laughs> but what about a friend? A, friend? a good friend. A good friend, no. But then what about literally a friend? Like, no. <laughs> would you date my ex Absolutely if you didn't know? I think I, it's. I mean, I wouldn't date your ex. I don't they? think they're my type. But well, I'm not their type. Well, <laughs> for the fact. But no, I wouldn't. Like, if anybody that I know, if they've date if like somebody's dated them, mm. I won't date them. Which is very hard in the gay community because everybody's been together. <laughs> but <laughs> like, it's <laughs> a fact. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't. I'd be peed off. Well, oh, people yeah, call loads kid. of random people friends nowadays. <laughs> well, in, like, there's friends you know, and there's, there's friends. There's friends of yeah. yeah, I wouldn't do it with like, a friend. No, no, right, okay. If you feel it. annoyed <laughs> by it, then they're clearly your friend and you're clearly yeah, irritated true. by it. It's yeah. like as simple as that. It's like your judgment to say if you're annoyed about something. Mm. If people don't Very agree, true. then blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about yeah. in Love Island? That's different. You have to do Just it. In and also, that ain't their mates, is it? Yeah, and they get paid. Their actual friends. They get paid to be in there as well. True. Yeah, they might be doing it just for a bit of a scandal. Yeah. Yeah. You never know when a producer's like chipping in and saying, right, oh. we need you to. Yeah, that's it. When they it. say that, that's been on it. Megan Hart, and Megan Barton said that. Definitely. Mm. So Who would you pair up with each other if they went into the island? Finley. So that far too quickly. Finley. If I went into Love Island, as in yeah. people in Love Island, yeah. What I I thought, out of us four? So you got to sing off. Definitely Finley. I, I really don't know who's in there, but I'll go with Finley because she said he's fit. Yeah, no, <laughs> Finley's a sweetheart. No, but who's the guy with Shinies or whatever her name is? Shinies. Uh, you got to say it right. Luke. 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 He's a sweetheart as well. He's really caring by the looks of it, mm. is he? Is it? Yeah, I d um, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I've heard mix. Oh, have you? Mm, From yeah. what I've seen, he was nice. But he's it's... a good little convincer. Oh, yeah. oh okay. So. Well, I'll go with him then because he's a proven sweetheart. <laughs> the way that he asked Paige to be his girlfriend, literally. He read it on his phone, didn't he? He got like a text. But like, I, like, yeah. I would love that. Imagine <laughs> someone, like, what? like, knowing that they've sat down before <laughs> and taken the time to like write the things that they like about you and. Oh, yeah, so that's sweet, like isn't that. it? This far, he's mm. not just gone, oh, go on then. You're not getting out of this, who yeah. is you? <laughs> I know what you're yeah, going <laughs> on. Who would you come on? You don't know. Oh, well, uh, I can't say I've actually been watching Love Island uh, <laughs> this year, uh, but I did read something the other day that apparently, because um, obviously the first couple had sex last night, was that Paige and... Scandal. Paige oh. and with, yeah, and apparently that was, it took twice as long as last year. <laughs> I did not know. It's getting hot in this studio. <laughs> <laughs> no, for like the first couple to like get together and do the deed, it took twice as long um, last year and then four times 
longer than the year before. Oh, so I feel like people may be slower. going a little bit, you know. Next year will be the final. Yeah. Live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, <laughs> unfortunately that's all we have time for today. Join us on Friday where we will be talking more on the topic of Love Island. The Valentine, not Love Island, <laughs> the topic of love for real talk. The Valentine's edition and for some more hot tea.